cover. This from your local election headquarters. The presidential debate last night sparked plenty of conversations about the two candidates at the top of the ticket. Many of former President Trump's claims about his office's success in areas like the economy, immigration, and foreign affairs were found to be false through independent fact checks. And President Biden's performance has raised questions within his own party on whether he's ready for another term. Local political officials in central Illinois weren't thrilled with the outcome of last night either questions and move on this is the presidency of the united states people expect a lot more than i think what we saw last night I mean the largest thing that we kind of have to remember is that you're not picking one person you're literally picking you know every person that that person will then appoint you're picking a cabinet you're picking you know chiefs of staff you're, you're picking all sorts of things Governor Pritzker, who at one point was rumored as a potential alternative to Biden on the ticket, also supported Biden in the aftermath of the debate. He said in a statement, at every turn, Donald Trump lied, rambled, and misled the American people about what a second Trump term would look like. But voters won't be fooled. Congressman Darren LaHood joined other House Republicans in panning Biden's performance, saying, quote, President Donald Trump is the 